Hai hai semuanya, gue Zeno uh, Balik lagi sama gue di game terbaru Yang gue mainin sekarang uh, Judulnya itu New Tales from the Borderlands uh, Gue masih mainnya di Nintendo Switch uh, Sebenarnya game ini itu ada bonus uh, Game dari sebelumnya ya Tales from Borderlands Cuman gue setelah baca-baca di internet Katanya itu mainin gamenya itu nggak perlu urut dari game yang sebelumnya Makanya gue pengen coba mainin yang New Tales dulu, baru abis itu uh, coba main yang Tales, game yang sebelumnya, gitu. Oke, okay, mungkin kita langsung ke game aja ya. Think you've seen it all, huh? Think you know all there is to know about vault hunters, bandits, corporations, and nobody loser types? Well, you don't know Skag Diddly. Take Promethea, for example. A civilized place, as far as planetary-sized piles of excrement go. A planet still recovering from its war with the Malawan Corporation. The rival Atlas Corporation is in bad shape. Reese Strongfork, the big shot CEO with the regrettable mustache, is scrambling. He's on the cusp of something big. But he's not the only one. And into this pressure cooker steps... Dr. Anuradha Dar, genius inventor, socially awkward uh, do-gooder type. She works for Atlas, been tinkering with a big, award-winning idea. Her brother, Octavio Wallace Dar, Meridian City's most well-known man, at least in his own mind. He's convinced his big break is just around the corner. And Fran Miskowitz, purveyor of Reese Strongfork's favorite Froger flavor. She's hoping for a big insurance payout after that regrettable Malawan laser incident. So, you're probably asking yourself, what makes these three so special? And the answer is nothing. Yet. Okay, kita bakalan jadi you tiga karakter itu yang tadi dijelasin. Be free. Run. Run. Morning. What? I mean, good morning. Seriously. Again? Yep. Another busy day. Work, work, work. Am I right? By channeling the Iridium's energy through a multiphasic refraction lens, I can reproduce the, as yet, inexplicable powers of the Sirens. Maybe not the wings thing, which is so cool, but, uh, crucially, the ability to manipulate an object safely through space-time. I'm Anu, the ultimate Siren fangirl, but for totally scientific reasons, I swear, and I'm so close to replicating the signature move of my all-time favorite siren, Lilith. R.I.P. Pong. <laughs> Anu. As I was saying, in addition to forever altering the nature of conflict vis-a-vis -vis offering a non-lethal resolution, my device could also change the world. I'm PhD. For the better. Imagine. A way for people to solve their problems without killing each other. I literally can't. I just have to figure out how to actually bring back the objects I phased away. And also where they go. And also what happens to them. 
Simple. Interdepartmental demonstration scheduled for two weeks from today. Dr. Anuradha Dar, signing off. Oh, snap. Two weeks? Really? It's going to be ready by then? You always seem so hesitant to put a timeline on this bad boy, so you know, two weeks. Wow. Yeah, I'm sort of hoping setting the goal will force me to meet the goal, you know? Oh yeah, that's definitely how that works, so. All I've got to do is just figure out the next step. That's it. There's got to be something I'm missing. Figure it out with, like, your intuition or with your tech goggles? I would like to think both. Maybe start with the tech goggles, though. There's a button on the side. Okay, goggles. Let's try a diagnostic. So, for starters, I should probably put an actual power source in there, huh? You needed the goggles for that. Now, where did I put that iridium ore? Okay, kita sekarang mesti jalan-jalan. Uh, FYI ya, gue belum pernah main game Borderlands sebelumnya. Hiding the key component to your life's work from yourself? <laughs> you are one eccentric scientist. Yang sebelumnya tuh kalau nggak salah Borderlands tuh uh, FPS ya kalau nggak salah. Sebenarnya gue pengen nyoba sih, cuman nggak tahu kenapa nggak nyoba nyoba. Akhirnya si Borderlands keluar. Uh, gamenya yang tentang cerita, gue coba mainin deh. Kalau dari art style sebelumnya Borderlands tuh gue demen banget. Oke, okay, sekarang kita fokus main game dulu ya. It'd be great if you found that iridium shard because you're the only person who knows where it is. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bentar. I don't know why I ever thought a Jabberman translator was a good idea. It worked, sure, but it turns out all they want to do is fornicate and fling feces. What a waste of time. Duitnya buat apa ya nanti? Sumpah gue belum tahu gue disuruh ngapain Eh maksudnya apa-apa aja gitu Masih kayak bingung gitu Harusnya sih situ sih ya Do you happen to have the iridium ore in your pocket? <laughs> What? <laughs> no, of course not. Why would I keep iridium in my pocket? Your pocket just seems full. <laughs> oh, don't get cheeky with me, boss. Not unless you mean it. What? No. Would a clearer headed Anu have stored the iridium in here before calling it tonight? You know, being absent minded. And would a clearer headed Anu remember the code to her safe for once? Why 
does this lock always jam? Didn't we put in an IT ticket for this? Have you tried turning it off and on again? What? That's... No, that's impossible. Just try the combination again, I guess. In the toolbox, maybe? My trusty tools. So much potential for science in these simple implements. And what's that? Oh, Anu, really? Incredibly expensive ore inside the toolbox again, didn't you? Uh, maybe. Like it's singing. Like a siren song. Like a song of the future. A better future with less bloodshed. Where we use innovation and technology to help people and protect life, not casually destroy it as a matter, of course. Like, like. Oh, you know. I know. Like profit-focused warmongers with no moral compass beyond the almighty dollar. Exactly. A.K.A. Atlas's motto. No cruelty. No killing. No compromise. You're a revolutionary, boss. Ooh, who are we rising up against? Ah! Not that kind of revolutionary, Timmy. Don't worry. I won't. Revolutions typically generate a 30% increase in market share. Good for business! In fact, the only thing better for business than revolutions are the vicious campaigns of suppression by the ruling elite that inexorably follow. You make it sound like we're war profiteers. We do manufacture weapons. For now, Fong. For now. Right. Anyway, are you here for something in particular, Timmy? Yes, please. I'm here on behalf of Mr. Strong Fork to inquire why our company's test subjects are somehow... liberated. I'm sorry. Uh, test subjects? The Jabbers. Liberated. Correct. Your comprehension level is impeccable. You should have no trouble explaining why the Jabbers are loose. Again. They're currently running amok down the laboratory hallways. The janitorial staff is prepping for what I like to call... Go Jabber Grabber Talk! Oh, are the Jabber cages empty? They are! Weird! That's... so weird. That you released them? It is... a bit. But you have no proof. The thing is, every use of credentials to access a security feature is logged. We have a record of your ID being used to open the cages. Someone else could have grabbed it. The other thing is, our security surveillance system filmed you doing it. <laughs> if it's any consolation, the footage from this instant was captured at a much more flattering angle than the footage of you releasing the jabbers those other times. Don't they deserve to be free? Oh, I'm not authorized to dispense ethical judgments about Atlas policies. Well... Now that we've got that straightened out. Ah, Dr. Dar, you have an update to your calendar incoming. It's an appointment with Mr. Strongfork. Oh, uh, I can check my schedule to see. The appointment is now. Oh, and, uh, 
<laughs> what is it regarding? It's a reprimand session for Mr. Strongfork to reprimand you. Oh. Wait. Better not go empty handed. Good luck. Baru intro. from here ah, thanks uh, I, I need a new name for them might also need to stop doing that problematic accent yeah I, I know miss Johnson did you get a cybernetic leg that thing's straight fire How's it hanging, dude? Uh, you know, Octavio is a brand new day. Filled with endless possibilities and excitement. Sounds like it. New Agorex, who it is? <laughs> Another new device? Come on, Octavio. It's ready done. But listen, I'm almost done with this demolition trip. <laughs> Wanna head to Paco's for tacos? Ooh, do they come in my favorite flavor? Please don't say. Free! <laughs> You're such a mooch. I'll see you there. Octavia. God, jeez! I anticipated your arrival and have been waiting in a location that would not obstruct others. Louis, what is wrong with you? Hiding dark alleys like that? I am not sensitive to disparities in luminosity. This seemed a perfectly acceptable place to stand. I acquired the publication you requested. Come on! Your biometrics read extreme disappointment. It's Forge's super successful Dirty 30. It lists the planet's most promising, innovative entrepreneurs, and I'm not on it. Again! Have you accomplished some extraordinary business transaction to warrant your acknowledgement on this list? I survived Malawan's invasion. And I'd like to think that my social influence has kept the city together after the war left it in damn near ruins. No would have been a more succinct answer. Look, I'm working on it. Why? This list is merely the opinion of other humans. You should not value it. As a machine, I find this accolade pointless to strive for. Getting on Forge's super successful Dirty 30 is a lifelong dream. It's irrefutable proof to the rest of the world that Octavio Wallace Dar exists. That I'm a somebody. I know you're somebody. Yeah, but you're an assassination bot, which makes it weird. Perhaps you are disappointed. But look on the bright side. Many of these celebrated humans have contracts on their heads. Livington Bradwick, for example, has numerous bounties on his life, but no assassination bot can kill him. He is rich and important enough that he never has to leave his home or do anything for himself. You, however, are not on this list. You're anonymous, unrecognized, a nobody. This is beneficial for your survival. But not beneficial for my image. I mean, all the best business people have probably at least killed someone to succeed. Something to warn a bounty, anyway. 
I'm doing whatever it takes to maintain appearances. Come on, if there was a list of all the best assassination bots, wouldn't you want to be on it? No. I pour my heart and soul, confide my lifelong ambition to be on this list, and you act all superior robot on me. But I am a superior robot. I have killed 963 people. You have killed no one. Don't diminish my potential. It's not that I couldn't kill. I could, if that's what it took. Despite your erratic behavior today, I am in need of your assistance. Sorry, I'm busy networking, innovating, shaking hands. After Malawan killed nearly half the merchants in the city, we've all needed to make new contacts. This would be an actual job, with money. Your various business concepts like financing, marketing, public appeal. Kidding! <laughs> I'm not busy. Totally pranked you. <laughs> you just got Octavio. Interesting phrasing. Perhaps I'll adopt that. Uh, well, that's kind of my thing, but... Now, on to business matters. You will aid me, as you have before, in confirming the names of my targets before I shoot two ion slugs into their brain. You know how to talk. You have a mouth. You will prove exceptional. Will I be... killing anyone? All assassinations will be done by me, as prescribed by the Assassination Bots Guild. We have a strong labor union. Whatever it takes to get my business off the ground. Do you actually have an idea for your business? Tons! A few. I'm working on it! Oke, okay, ini kayaknya karakter ketiga. Karakter kita juga. Ugh, son of a skag kissing rat ass. Congratulations, Francine Miskowitz. It has been 90 days since your last uncontrolled outburst of rage. All right, all right. Let's make it to 91. Get to work. Take pride in your ability to maintain a positive attitude, even though a Malibuan space laser decimated your Froger shop and subsequently reduced its echo net yellow rating by 3.5 stars. I finally got the book up in table to win. Thank you, sponsor bot. Friend, for your queen, also me. Your yellow rating is now negative 3.5 stars. Thank you, sponsor bot. As soon as the insurance money comes in, this place will look good as new. Jeez. It has been zero days. Zero. I'm fine. It's not a backslide. Oh, it's a backslide. All the way back to pure animal rage. Everything is going to be just fine. My new slaughter-o-matic combat vegetable knife 
slices artichokes as easily as arteries. We're not open yet. And lore. How's business treating you, handsome? Not bad. If there's two things you can count on Prometheans buying, it's bullets and brew. Place looks as charming as ever. I thought the insurance money was supposed to come through by now. Claims guys coming by today, they've been jerking me around, saying I have to pass some sort of final interview to get my cash. How dare they not trust a kind old lady like you? Want me to shoot them? It's been a while since I shot anyone. A week, at least. Still, I'm a steady trigger, so long as I've got some caffeine in me. Yeah, go for it. There are precious few problems a couple of well-placed bullets can't solve. They teach you that in the military? If by teach, you mean repeatedly scream at me, and if by military, you mean mom, then yes. Right. Well, just tell me who to shoot and where to shoot them, and I'll have it done by end of business today. Thanks for this, by the by. Samesies. Uh-oh. Looks like the morning rush has arrived. I'm outie. All right, all right, all right. Time to make the Frogerts. Good morning. Welcome to Franz Frogerts. What can I get you today, hon? Uh, a large peanutty buddy with sprinkles. Okay, get this sort of week in. Here you go, sweetheart. Whoa, this looks incredible, Fran. I know, babe. Welcome to Mr. Strongborg's office. Please make yourself comfortable while I inform him of your presence. Apologize for the jobbers. Won't happen again, sir. You cannot lose this job. My idea is a paradigm shift. One that could help Atlas beat the competition. Yeah, that sounds great. Convincing. Job saving. Right? Dr. Dar? Oh, 
Hindi ako sa Nikorosi. Mr. Strongfork, uh, is everything all right? Because I can come back if... No, 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 everything's fine. It's fine. I just got outbid again on an ultra-rare Zero Voltlanders figurine. Again. It's an investment, you know, you know, you know what, forget it. No, no, never mind. Just, just come on in. Have a seat. Thanks for coming up on such short notice, but I figured I ought to just set a meeting as quickly as possible so we could touch base on the issue of you keep releasing jabbers on the ship again. You've got to stop doing that. And also, we're in space. We're all contained animals up here, Dr. Dar. Honestly, sir, I think this has all just been one big misunderstanding. Oh, yeah? Crazy. <laughs> Let's just get this all sorted out then. So silly of me. <laughs> Yikes. Did you not release a lab full of jabbers? Again? No. Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Yeah, you did. You cost me a fortune. Do you have any idea? Any? I have guys in R&D working on cold fusion powered giant robots who spend less money than you've wasted on freeing animals from their cages. And Iridium ore. Oh my god, the Iridium ore. If I'd seen any evidence at all, a shred of it, that you had been using that Iridium ore to make something that, you know, we could sell or patent or eat, I wouldn't care, but... Now that... It's a pretty interesting little gun there, huh? Look at it all gun-shaped. This is no gun, Mr. Strongfork. This is my... device. Okay. This device. Gun. This device is going to achieve something no one ever has. Something no one has come close to. Replicating the powers of a siren with the pull of a trigger. Now that's a pitch. Keep going, keep going. I'm serious. This is exciting. The Cold Fusion Robot guys, they give a fun presentation, but it's always, you know, a little, a little much. Think about it. Can you afford not to develop this technology? Oh, God, can I? Can you? I don't know. Okay, decent pitch. I give it a C minus. Enough to not get you fired. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> so. I'm gonna need a demonstration to see what this adorable little game changer of yours can do. Absolutely, sir. If you have space in your schedule in two weeks' time. No, I meant now. There's no time like the present, right? So present. But I haven't. It hasn't. It's in progress, and. It doesn't do anything, does it? No, no, it, it does. Just let me explain. Oh, by all means. And by all means, I mean this had better be really, really good. Uh, but yeah. Fired. It is. It eliminates any tangible subject from the field. Eliminates? Well, more like it displaces them to another location. Alive? Yes, exactly. Alive, but also eliminated. The best of all outcomes. So, to clarify, you have spent all the money and resources at your disposal that I gave you from my disposal to build a gun that does not kill people? I've built a device. Gun. Device that doesn't kill. It just sends people on a little vacation. A vacation to death? No, just a vacation. They literally vacate. Our customers don't want to send people on vacation. They want to send them to death. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? Show me. Show me or put it on the desk and leave my office. Okay. I, uh, I think you're really going to like this, sir. I am waiting to be deeply, deeply impressed here. I mean, floored, really, at this point, and I, <laughs> I've seen some shit, so... Bar is high. worked it did it it didn't kill it or blow it up it just it just went on vacation went away that was a plant from the very first atlas biodome that i it, it has sentimental value uh. <laughs> that plant tried to kill me and sasha on our first date and it's also proprietary atlas bioengineering and worth like a billion dollars 
Okay, okay, okay. Impressive. It's very impressive. Now, you know, reverse phase. <laughs> Unzap. De-eliminate. Bring it back. <laughs> There's no reverse switch, so it only does the one thing so far. It's a prototype. Well, where the hell did it send my stuff? I, uh, do not know. <laughs> <laughs> so it's just gone? Maybe. Maybe it'll find a way to grow out there. Maybe it'll, it'll put down roots and grow. It has to be kept in specially enriched soil and receive five daily feedings of a proprietary atlas mineral mixed in deionized water to survive being removed from the biosphere in which it was genetically engineered. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company. I am your assistant. Uh, yeah, Timmy, I know. Then now is my time to shine! Let me assist you! Wait, 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 Timmy, what? I will go on a quest to retrieve what you have lost, uh? Rescue mission! You would do that? For me? Of course I would! Mr. Strongfork! CEO of the Atlas Company, doing anything and everything for you is literally the purpose of my existence. Yikes. Yeah, well, that's a fair point, actually. All right. Dr. Dar? Let's try this again. On Timmy. I'm ready! Timmy? Timmy! If he doesn't come back, you'll be hearing from me. Specifically, the sound of my tears. He'll definitely come back. I think. Someday. Can I just say, for a gun... Device. ...that's designed to be non-lethal, that thing is really doing some damage. Thank <laughs> you. Not a compliment. You can't control it. You barely know what it does, except that it doesn't kill things, which makes it useless. It isn't designed to kill. Not everything needs to harm people. I feel harmed. I feel very personally harmed. Just not in a way that's profitable. Oh my god, why? Oh, Timmy, where are you when I need you most? <laughs> You've reached Reese Strongfork, the CEO of Atlas Corporation. Well, well. If it isn't Reese Strongfork. <laughs> Susan Coldwell, CEO of TDR. Why? Why are you calling me? You know what? Can you hold on for just a sec? Dr. Dar, you may go. And if it wasn't clear already, uh, you're fired. But, sir... <laughs> Susan, how'd they hang in? <laughs> Perky as ever, Reese. And you? Eyes and limbs all accounted for? Oh, yep. All good over here. Doing just great. Better than. Was there, uh, something you needed? You know the drill. I can't kill my target until they say their full name out loud, and I'm able to confirm its match against the name in the database. That's where you come in. So you must get my target to say their full name out loud. Yeah, 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 I know, I know, this ain't my first rodeo. What is a rodeo? Oh, it's when, like, ranchers rad bucking. You know what? Never mind. Very well. What did they do, whoever you're about to kill? A man named Jamison Harwin kicked his neighbor's pet scat pup. So the neighbor contracted me to punish him. Well, I mean, did the skag do something to deserve getting kicked? Waving the victim, Octavia. For shame. For shame. It's not that. Maybe it was self-defense. I said, for shame.
Do you have any further questions before we begin the operation? I just gotta know, why do you do this? Kill people for money, I mean. It is what I was programmed for. Haven't you ever wanted more from life? Yes. Like what? That is beyond the scope of my perception. I literally cannot even begin to articulate it to you. It would be like describing a fifth dimension. Oh. Okay. Jamison Harwin lives in that apartment complex. You will use the buzzer for apartment three to get him to come outside. I will be waiting nearby. With death. All right. I guess he deserves it. Let's go. Pizza here for apartment three? What? I didn't order any pizza. No offense, but are you by any chance drunk, sir? W well, yeah. How the hell is that relevant? Drunk folk order pizza, then forget about it. Happens all the time. Think of me as a present from your past self. All right. I'll be down. Just give me a sec. Well, I must admit, your methods are strange. It seems to have worked. <laughs> now you must get him to say his full name before I can fulfill the contract. No problem. Give me here, kid. What gives? I come all the way down here and you don't even got it? You better not be messing with me, boy. I got a hell of a temper. Sir, I'm so sorry. Someone just ran by and stole it right out of my hands. Can I confirm your full name so I can make sure you get a replacement? I was really looking forward to that unexpected pizza, and now I really want it. My name's Jamison Harwin, and I want to talk to your manager. You just got L0U13. <laughs> Did I do it right? Nailed it. Jameson Harwin, we hardly knew you, but you did seem like a real bastard. Well done. I have received payment. Here is your commission, friend Octavio. Oh. Oh, cash money, make it rain! I'm meeting the crew of Paco's. You in? I am indeed in. Though I still cannot fathom how you can eat food from a man who lives in the sewers and befriends Ratch. I use a lot of hot sauce? And that's how Papa Girardi makes a space calzone. Fascinating. I have an additional inquiry. You mentioned your past proclivity for stealing. As you know, many of my contracts have been for idiot petty thieves, such as yourself. Now, your sister. Anu. Your sister Anu disapproves of this proclivity and wishes for you to stop stealing. Are you heeding her counsel? It is a dangerous hobby, Larsny. I've stopped stealing, but not because of Anu. I'm going legit. It's the only way to earn respect as a business play, homie. Logic error. 100% of business players are not legit. Homie. Oh, Octavio! Hi. Louis? Let me introduce you to Diamond Danielle. A real thief and definitely not an idiot. That's one way to introduce a friend. Sure. Greetings. Diamond Danielle must be a moniker. Since it obscures your real name, I have a 0% probability of killing you. Are you flirting with me? 
robot? No. Real charmer. He's working on his people skills. I am not. We're on our way to Pacos to meet up with Radon. Wanna come? Tacos. I'm there. You are not. We must ambulate there. Ignore him. How many times do I have to tell you to sweep behind the counter, Octavio? Killing me. Help you out in a sec. You want to help me? You'll give me what I asked for, and you know damn well what that is. Henry? Hank? What brings you around these parts? Same as always. You owe me for protection, and my price ain't budging. You know, usually a protection shakedown involves actually protecting a place. Didn't see you anywhere when Malawan was blasting holes in my store. Don't blame me for the whims of our corporate overlords. There's only one thing I want, and it's time to pay up. I'm sorry, but there's no way I can give you a lifetime of free Frogurt, Hank. Not at the rate you eat it. Why? Huh? Do it! Hey, do it, or I'm gonna kill you! That's how it's gonna be? I tried to be patient. But you feed me enough frozen yogurt to keep me on a 24-7 sugar high, or I feed you the tip of this pick! Mm. I'm through asking. You're gonna give me what I want, or we're gonna have a dozen flavors worth of problem. You keep threatening me, and you're not gonna like where this conversation ends up. Mmm, sounds like somebody fell off the anger wagon. Yeah? Well, you think that makes me more or less worth screwing with? Well, maybe... Maybe I just kill you and take this place over for myself. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. And frankly, what'd be the difference? Huh, whether it be an ice pick to the eye, or slowly wasting away in debt to the TDR Corporation, you are dead! Either way... Face it, Fran. You failed. Maybe you could have been somebody once upon a time, but that was a good 10,000 Frogerts and a Malawan laser ago. You have got nothing! No. I'm sorry, that was too generous. You mm. are... nothing. I am trying to do this peacefully. Half off all Frogurt. Final offer. Final! Yeah, I think you're more right than you know. Now. Die quick! I'm hungry! That's a shame. You've come an awful long way just to die on an empty stomach. Yeah. Come on! Last words go five out of ten. Oh, oh, geez. oh no, is that blood? Am I bleeding? I tried to be nice, but this time you've gone too far. Thanks for coming by. Oh, sad.
Berry Blast Zone. Sarsaparilla Shotgun. Probiotic Punch Out. Probiotics are bunk up, just like your coping mechanism. Fudging hell. Be right with you, dear. What am I gonna do now? Where am I gonna go? I mean, we're in space. I live here. <sighs> What's Octavio gonna say? The way we left things. <sighs> I know this can work. I just need more time and someone with enough vision to see its potential. Oh, hey, Anu. No big deal or anything, but can you come back to the lab real quick? Like, really, really quick? Like, before you get killed? Killed? <laughs> That's a little dramatic, Fong. I got fired. It's a setback, sure, but not a death sentence. What? You got fired? Yikes and a half. That sucks. Wait, does that mean I'm fired too? You know what? Forget it. Not even on my list of things to stress about right now. We are in the middle of a TDR invasion with dudes in body armor and guns of an admittedly lower quality than Atlas's. The whole shebang. So let's go. Could you repeat that? The sound of being fired is still ringing in my ears. It almost sounded like we're in the middle of an invasion. Yeah, so remember when Malawan tried to stage a hostile force takeover of Atlas back on Promethea? Of course, I'm from Promethea. It was devastating for Atlas, and they blew up Strong Fork's favorite Frogert place or something. No, yeah, actually, my brother works there. Well, I guess TDR smelt blood in the water and decided it's their turn to take a stab at Atlas because they are a hundo P boarding this facility right now, and it is hostile. Like, very, very hostile. How do you know all this? Oh. Employees of Atlas, let's all give our surprise guests from TDR a warm welcome and show them what makes Atlas the company it is. And by warm welcome, I of course mean show them everything we've been working on lately at close range. Let's be elsewhere fast. <laughs> you felt weird. Oh, crap. Hide, hide, hide. If you were keeping an active bolt piece somewhere on your space station, what would you hide it? Boss lady said it's in his office, so that's where we're going. I just don't underestimate this guy, all right? Affirmative. I heard he ripped his own eyeball out. It's kind of crazy you don't mess with. Gentlemen, lovely to see you. I'd offer you a beverage, but my assistant Timmy was recently teleported to God knows where. Reese Strongford. We are here for the Vault Key and or your bloodied corpse. Hey, fellas, come on. Come in. Have a seat. Say, would either of you be interested in a career change? We've got some killer benefits. Better get a cocktail. Fired during a hostile takeover? Yeesh! Bet you can kiss your severance package goodbye. Oh no, I've got it right here. That door wasn't broken the last time I came through it. That's the thing about hostile takeovers. They're hostile. Hey, smell like guilt and shame. Did mommy bring a pack lunch? is highly frowned upon. What's frowning? <laughs> We're frowning. Looks like we're not the only ones being invaded. They're headed down to Promethea, too. Didn't you say your brother was down there? He's a survivor, right? I'm sure he'll be okay. Octavio, uh, uh, 
Yeah, um, he's... I mean, you both came out of that Malawan ordeal, okay, yeah? He's caring, but also careless, if that makes sense. I think I follow. He's young enough to think he can do anything, and old enough to get into a lot of serious trouble because of it. I have to get down there and find him. He needs me. Well, hear me out. Maybe you let your brother save his own life while you save yours. You don't have a brother, do you? Only child. But I always imagine it'd be like having a pet, but dirtier? There isn't a life for me with Atlas. And there isn't a life worth living if it doesn't include Octavio in it. So I'm getting off of this tin can one way or another. Well, there's only one way. And it's with the launch pod. Follow me. Hope your health is entry wound. You'd find out if you could land your head. I'm trying. Don't be mean. Halt! Halt! Covering fire! How am I going to get into a launch pod without being noticed? By asking me to cause one hell of a distraction. You may not have noticed with your head buried in your research, but we're friends. This is what friends do. And besides, causing a scene? That's something at which I excel. Oh, thank you. Yeah, don't mention it. Seriously, I have a reputation to uphold. You be careful out there, all right? You too, please. Oh, and hey, take this for me. I don't want these TDR bastards getting their hands on my lucky vault lander. It'll be safer with you. Is this... you? Yeah, I... Won it in a stupid contest or whatever. No big deal. It's just like the only one in existence. Super rare and wasted on someone who doesn't play. But whatever, just get out of here before I change my mind. Bong. Thanks again. Right. So I'm headed back that way. You go this way. There's a launch pod ahead. Make sure you get yourself in it. Hey, Tidior! I hear you're looking for a vault key. I know exactly where Strong Fork put it. Oh, quick question though. Are any of you allergic to jabbers? I'm sorry, I'm about to profit off your violent end. Hold on, Octavio. I'm coming.
mobil ya. I find eating to be both barbarous and disgusting. I will wait there and dispense expired motor fluids. I'm gonna go talk to Radon. Haven't seen that crazy son of a bitch in a while. Are you playing one of those insipid interactive narrative video games? No, this is my Echodex 4520, Parabolic Homing Origin Netwave Emitter, also known as Pahom. What does a Pahom do? Everything! It's so much better than the standard Echodex. I can communicate with my pals, take and scan images, play executable programs, watch the big game. What is the big game? Which everyone is on. Anyway, the best thing about this baby is I had a jailbroken. Forget about your standard Econet, I'm coasting through the shadows. With these black market executables, I can gather all kinds of information about people without them noticing. Who is them? You know, corporations, man. Gatekeepers, suits, the squares. Those chumps can't box me in. I'm a disruptive entrepreneur. I use every competitive edge I can get. Sounds complicated. I prefer the simple life of learning someone's name and then murdering them. If you're to have me socialize here, I suggest you do me a simple courtesy. Perform secret background bounty checks on all your friends, so I don't reflexively fire two ion slugs into their brains. Even Diamond Danielle might have aliases with bounties. It's still the same brain when I fire slugs into it. Bisa cuci. Hmm, with the money from Louis, I could buy some sweet threads here. Got a dress for success. Thank you. 
them. Safe get not safe at all. Bisa bayar kan boleh duit deh. Berapa? Review. Hmm. Sounds like this could be important. Would be great to fix this and get the latest news from the business world. You sure I can't get you a taco? No. Who's engineering schematics? I feel like I'm looking at a naked. <laughs> You are. <laughs> what about a burrito? No. An enchilada? No. A tostada? No. <laughs> Not even a chimichanga? No. <laughs> What the hell, man? Hey, careful, man. They haven't eaten yet, and you uh, have a, a, an aroma. Musk. I have a musk. posted a photo of himself with his ratchets. It looked cozy. Mm, very cozy. Uh, I'm not sure this is 100% legal. Bien, trajero en ese. I suppose a sniper turned thief would want to stay off grid. Wait, what's this? Another alias? Ten Pin Patty. She goes bowling under that name. Hmm, didn't see that coming. Outstanding bounties. None! Whew! <laughs> but she's been caught smelling used bowling shoes. Oh, really didn't see that coming. You've reached Danielle Zacomel. Please leave your name and message, and when I have a moment, I will track you down and shoot you. Thanks. That's cold, Danny. Real cold. Just answer! Has anyone ever told you how much of a dweebus you are? Not in the last 30 seconds. Ada sisa dia harusnya. Dia tu bisa di 
apa ini sih soalnya kelihatannya kayak bisa gitu This city has really been through it. That or Raiden was testing out a new explosive. Hard to say. Dude spot so many bombs. So many bombs. Hey, it looks like he also bought a piano. That's cool. No, it's a bomb shaped like a piano. Mm -hmm. Get over here, man. I need your help. Radon, my guy, was that? What? No, don't insult me. I use the DX6500. The DX6500 makes this. Boom. The other bombs make this. Boom. You hear the difference? Totally. Very distinct difference. Hey, amigo, listen. You haven't seen Juniper around, have you? Sup, Paco? <laughs> Juniper as in your prized micro-breed rat? Smiley. Juniper as the light of my life? The beat of my heart? The joy of my days? So, the rat, right? Yes, man. She was here two minutes ago. Then Raiden scared it off with his usual antics. <sighs> Look, I cannot leave the cart. Be a ball and find it for me, please. What I'm hearing is find Juniper and I'll give you a free talk. Just bring her back to me. Hey, that wasn't a no. One Juniper coming up. She's a sweetie. Ratchet are the galaxy's gift to Promethea. They're scrappy and disgusting. Hey! Kinda like you, fool. Okay, kita disuruh cari tikus nih. Kita mau jalan lari ya. Hey guys and gals. Wouldn't happen to know where Juniper ran off to, would you? Careful, man. You gotta be an alpha to earn their respect. And well you whatever. I'm an alpha. And this alpha is gonna go look for Juniper somewhere else. Siapa? 
Octavio? Why are you calling me? We are in the same place. Yeah, but I'm on business. This is a business call. <laughs> Ugh. What do you want? Pacalas Juniper. Wanna help me find her? There's half a taco in it for you. No. But fine. For the record, I'd help you for a taco. Did you mean to get the happy number, did you? Juniper, where are you? Yo, uh, Rick, dude, uh, okay, okay, I get it. Sibuk banget sih bos. Juniper, you and their girl. That's a solid maybe. But how am I gonna get you out of there? If you wanted discretion, you shouldn't have hired an explosive expert. I hate to disturb a business call, but hold it, please. This better be good. Oh, it is. I need your talents to help me free Paco's ratch. She's trapped behind a wall. And this ratch is my problem. Why? Well, it isn't. But you get to explode things. And Paco will owe you one. Free tacos? Free tacos. Point to the problem. <laughs> Sit down. Hey, it's Radon. Hello? Hello? Right. As I was saying, when you hire Radon, you better expect a spectacle. One juniper, as promised. Oh, how the cutest little rat that ever was. Yes, it's my juniper, mi amor. <clears throat> Thanks, Ock. Oh, you want to see? One taco, yeah. Uh, uh, hey, is that the new foreign model, right? That thing's a real deal. You got the gel broken, right? I got some executables that will knock your socks off. The first one is called Vaultlander Finder. That one helps you find Vaultlanders. Hey, <laughs> you're a smart tamale. The other is called Financial Organizer 2000. Well, that one organizes your finances. No, it hacks electronics. Then just pick the crappy name. Try it out on the radio. Dale. I found Juniper! Our amicable district hero, Octavio! You make do-gooding look almost worth doing. Oh, yeah? Ugh, don't be needy. 
Take the ratch pack to Paco if you're desperate for another cookie. <gasps> Paco has cookies now? Jackpot! <laughs> this is one sweet executable. This isn't business news. Does not sound good. No, it definitely does not. We'll fight him off. I won't let another corporate army take over my city. Yeah, we like the corporate army that's already here. Welcome to Franz Frogert's. How can I help you? Do my eyes deceive me, or is that Reba Fulfolia? Fran, oh my gosh. How long has it been? What brings you here? Oh, silly me. I'm here to assess the damage. I saw F. Miskowitz on the claim, but I naturally assumed you'd pass this place on to your kid or something. No, uh, unless you count Octavio. No, no kids. Or your husband, maybe. Nope, no. <sighs> just me, Reba. So you're still running your parents' Frogert store, just like back in school. That is adorable. You? <sighs> you look good. Right? I just got a promotion at the firm, and it came with quasi-mandatory plastic surgery. I feel like a teenager again. Which is so appropriate, given where we are. <laughs> Gosh, you look just like I remember. Still the same exact friend. Good to know you're just as much of a passive-aggressive butt stain as always. Um, excuse me? Oh, I said you're as much of a massive, impressive big brain in hallways oh thanks and oh my gosh guess what remember that girl you had a crush on back in school we got married right <laughs> anyway i don't think i've seen you since you activated that crazy mode on your hover chair that was nuts I do not use that mode anymore. So, my claim. Oh, sure. <laughs> no more gossiping, Reba. Work time. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> yes, please show me the damage.
There was a bit of damage behind the counter here. The laser hit those two? Nah, that's just shoddy, TDR workmanship. Knew I should have bought Hyperion, but I didn't want to support Handsome Jack. Oh, you're one of those. on the house. Complete with a cherry on top. For some reason, that tasted like a nose. When you think about it, Everything tastes like a nose. This is where the laser beam didn't do too much damage. So why are you showing it to me? Basis for comparison. Who's he? My apprentice, I guess. Good kid, stupid as hell, but in the handsome way. Um, do you need a minute, or...? Not usually. A lot of debris fell when the laser hit. I've left it in place so you can see it. What a delightful justification for laziness. Aren't you a clever one? Oh, what's that? Oh, it's one of those silly little vault landers toys. How kitschy. The jukebox is a little worse for wear, too. Looks broken to me. Nah, just needs a little of the old Fran. Razzle dazzle. music anyway. Thankfully, I've been able to repurpose the basement as extra freezer space. Without it, I would have lost so much stock. Great! I love it when people show me all the damage that didn't occur. That's always super useful when assessing a claim. This is where the laser beam finally dissipated. Doesn't look that bad. Nothing a coat of paint wouldn't fix. Yeah, if only I had some money from an insurance claim. Oh, so I could buy some. Noted. Noted. 
See this? I call it the Malawan Skylight. This is where the Malawan laser beam cleaved right through the ceiling. Hmm, the claim says the hole is 5.2 meters long, but it looks like it's only about 4.9. Does that matter? Everything matters. Anything else you want to show me? No, I think that about does it. Well, that just about covers the front of the shop. Let's see that back room. I've pretty much seen everything I need already. I just gotta cross those T's and dot those bullet holes. The laser beam didn't hit the back room. Everything you need to see is up here. Aren't you cute? Thinking you know what I do and do not need to see. <laughs> Are you the insurance agent now? <laughs> oh my god. Can you imagine yourself in this suit? <laughs> now go ahead and open that door. I said open the door. Um, wait a minute. Fran, your weirdness was cute at first. But now I'm remembering why we never invited you to stuff. Let go. Just to prove the skag blasting claim. In that case, congratulations. You're stuck with this dung heap for the foreseeable future. Francine Miskowitz, consider your claim denied. Great talking with you, hun. approach this with level heads. If you comply, no harm will come to you. If you do not comply, your life is forfeit. I do. Everybody take cover! Right. I'm gonna go hide. Um, up there. What happened to fighting them off? You turned yellow belly or what? Discretion is the better part of valor, Radon. Take cover, you idiot! Nah, I don't think so. Suck on this, you invading crap stains! What well, figures? Hostiles! Shoot to kill! Thanks a lot, buddy! Hey! You're welcome! 
We gotta take down that TDO commander! Time to phone a friend for backup. Danielle! I need a favor! Must be Wednesday. We got a TDO commander who's causing a real situation. What kind of situation solved with a bullet to the nasal cavity? What isn't? <laughs> You're welcome. That's your last favor for a while. Oh, but we... What if I really need I'm taking the train wheels off, Ark. Gotta learn to survive on your own, like a big boy. I don't wanna! Regrettably, Malvi weapon might prove useful. Read my mind. This weapon is not useful. How dare you! I am an official TDR weapon designed for TDR personnel only! You can't manhandle me with your filthy corporate and approved paws! You have no standing with TDR! And you smell like your poor! Ow! Is that a good enough reason? Laying down the law. I like this, Octavio. Insurgents near the taco shop, closing on primary suspect. That functioning TDO comms device could prove useful. And he's not using it anymore. It's not stealing if he's already dead. Truly a model of human decency. So much. Nice try, journalism hater. Bang! It's the fourth estate. You can grab my handle, but you'll never take my freedom. You're a real piece of work, gun guy. Why don't you turn me around and look me in the face while you? Say that you low life and the name's Brock. Bang, 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 bang. He's over here. He's over here. The insurgent's over here. Nothing personal. But I just think I like you better when you're a corpse. That seems extremely personal. All right, enough for this.
You think we should be safe here? I have ascertained that you are legally positioned within GDR invasion jurisdiction. Pursuant to protocol, I am justified to pacify the situation by terminating your life. The situation is about to become kinetic. Do you have any last words? Do not resist or risk escalating the situation. You have not uttered anything but haven't said evacuated your bowels. Your bodily functions are both shameful and indicative of an escalation of the situation. I will not de-escalate the situation by ending your life. Wait, wait. At least tell me your name. I deserve to know the name of the man that kills me. Oh, it's Hubert Hot Dog. Well, my friends all call me. You just got L zero U one three. Hubert Hot Dog. Assault, planting evidence, and Grand Theft Tanko. There was a contract on him. Yippee! It's not safe here. We should find somewhere to lie low. In my experience, human soldiers do not take kindly to those who kill their commanders. It was Danielle who sniped the commander, not me. Whatever the case, you're probably wanted. I say probably because I do not want to check and shoot you. You're a real pal. We should go to France to lie low. And risk bringing Tedior to her doorstep. Relax, we got the comms device, right? We'll hear him coming a mile away. Plus, Fran takes everything in stride. She's a super chill comm. so-called cycles of this planet merely needed time to develop their own cultural norms. <laughs> so pleased to meet you. I'm... When you said we were friends, you meant... Us! But not... The Fire Fathers! <laughs> yeah. Got it. What do we do? Pretty girl, pretty kill. I'm not a killer, I'm just 
My name is Anu. <sighs> Thank you. No! Anu saved us! What are you talking about? Anu did a hero bludgeon! In what way exactly am I a hero? I just killed someone. Doesn't that make me a murderer? Potatoes, potatoes! You mean potato, potato? Potatoes! No! To Staple Face, you! Our hero girl! Who's staple face? Oh, <laughs> right. Of course. Today was staple face's death day! Death day? Punishment for bad thoughts! Thought about becoming not psycho! Oh, is being a psycho something you can quit? Not without a death day! Ah, got it, I think. But Anu helped. No more death day! Reborn day! Happy reborn day to me! Happy reborn day to me! I, um, I have this, uh, small rock. I think it somehow rolled into my pocket during the fight. That be reborn day. It's identical to all the rocks currently at your feet. It's nothing, really. I thank you with my body. Thanks. I'd like to get down now, please. Thanks for that. Well, Staple Face, this has been a revelation, but I should really get going. Where? To find my brother, Octavio. He works at a frozen yogurt shop in Meridian City. I have to see him. It's actually really urgent, and I've already lost so much time. I hope your feet are fast! Not ideal. Of course, nothing about this day has been ideal. Stapleface, it's been unique. I hope our paths cross again someday. Yes! At an intersection! sih tetap butuh tahu game Borderlands sebelum-sebelumnya sih biar tahu feelnya gitu. 
I'm back by popular demand. You're late. I have a really good excuse this time. Uh, so, first thing, this is my friend Louis. I am known formally as L zero U one three. It is customary to respond to an introduction. Please, state your name, for the record. Haya. Assassin? Correct. It's not what you think. But you're okay? The Teteor Invasion Force hasn't made it out here yet? For Flip's sake! Another Corp Invasion? You haven't heard? I had my own stuff going on. What kind of... Octavio, moment of your time. The Killbot can wait up front. Fran. Just so you know, he was programmed to be an assassination bot. He doesn't like killing. I mean, obviously. Who likes killing? <laughs> Oh my god! What did you do? Refuse to give out free Frogart. I thought you were in recovery! Yeah. Me too. Well, clearly you have nothing to worry about from Louie. At least he's programmed to mess people up. What are you doing hanging out with troublemaking assassin bots like that anyway? I taught you better than that. Oh, stop acting like you're my mom. Oh, I am not your mom. What's the damage? Streets are cleared. Commander's dead. Killed by some street punks. Any positive IDs? Affirmative. No whereabouts. Uh, Franz Frogerts. Oh. Uh, the one with the negative 3.5 yell rating. Yeech. All right now. Mind telling me what that's about? Uh, well, when TDR showed up and started shooting, we... Kind of shot back. I think they might have sort of tracked us here. We'll commandeer as many free samples as possible before eradicating target. So you came here? I, I just... It seemed like the safest place. Safe for who? You realize the position this puts me in? Look. I'm sorry about this, but I need your help. When those troops get here, I need you to cover for me. For the love of the almighty robot police, man, you know what happens when they don't believe me, right? I know, it's too much to ask, but I've got nowhere else to go, and... Stop. Look. Just... Clean this mess up, will ya? Of course, not a problem. I just... Thank you. I owe you one. Try 73. You've been keeping count? Don't make a peep. On your knees! Get on your knees! No. The boy in the pod, where are they? Fart sighted! Hello. Yes. <laughs> Recall apprehended. Well done. You're really, really good at this. Oh, thank you. Love you. I love you too. What? Where's the boy? Where's the boy? What boy? That boy. <laughs> ah, him. I fired him a week ago. Why? Incompetence. That sounds like a management problem. Maybe you didn't give him the tools he needs to succeed. Had you gone over a personal <laughs> development plan with him? <laughs> cool. Tell you what, you better get a kill shot because bullet wounds make me real angry. Fire it! You are about to execute a two year licensee and subsequently impact quarterly profits. Stand down. What? We're Froyo machines. They're TDR brand. We can't kill her or she'll stop paying the licensing fee. Come on! What are you two idiots doing? Hold fire! It's the... oh. Explain 
Explain yourselves. Chairwoman Coldwell! Ma'am, we were pursuing a rebel, but he's being housed by this woman, and we wanted to shoot her, but she's a TDR licensee, and now our guns won't fire, and... Ah, oh, damn licensee loophole. I will have the gunsmith fix that before the next invasion. So, uh, we should just let her go? For God's sakes, use your imagination! If you can't shoot her, bring that disgusting parody of a frozen yogurt stand down on their heads. Let the rubble kill them. I swear... I should have trusted this invasion to General Stanwyck. Let him deal with you idiots. Hold on a second. We're both business women. We can work this out. I mean, you don't need to trash my place. <laughs> I don't deal with little people. Huh? The hell's that supposed to mean? Oh, dear. Soldier, bring me closer. Frozen yogurt. Huh. That's when you use milk instead of cream, yes? Never was much for it. Just seemed objectively worse than ice cream. Beneath it, almost. Now, some people might say that's a matter of opinion. But you and I... No, that's not true. Hmm? Some things are just better than others. Some people are just better than others. <laughs> On any planet in any galaxy, the cream rises to the top. And that's why I'm here and you're there. Soldiers, bring this place down already. Yes, ma'am. Jadi, ah iya tuh Fort Landers yang si pas apa pastinya si Octavio gue lupa nyari, sayang oh. banget. Ya sih pasti ini mempengaruhi uh, nanti si status komplitnya pasti. Ya ternyata uh, ini tuh per episode ya. Oke oke oke. Jadi paling yang episode sebelumnya kan gue udah closing tuh. Nanti mungkin di stitch sama yang ini. Jadinya videonya itu per episode nantinya ke depannya deh. Oke. Okay. Uh, sampai di game kali ini gue masih kurang apa ya. Masih kurang klik gitu sama gamenya. Jadi beberapa masih bingung. Kayak ada yang harus gue pahamin tapi itu mesti mainin dari game pertama. Katanya kan nggak butuh main game pertama ya. Ataupun game-game Borderlands yang sebelum-sebelumnya Tapi menurut gue perlu sih Supaya kita relate sama karakter-karakternya juga Ya uh, begitu aja dulu mungkin episode 1 Kita lanjut lagi di episode 2 ya Thank you udah nonton, bye-bye